Agriculture is essential because it's providing the food that goes onto our plates, but it's also very, very damaging for the planet. I argue that it has the highest environmental footprint of any sector of human activity. To put food on our plates, we need to use three quarters of the land for agriculture. Most of the water that humans use goes for agricultural production, three quarters of the water we use. Universities now need to do more than just research. We now need to deliver on those discoveries. Let's make an impact. Let's make change on our planet. That's what the Centre of Excellence for Sustainable Food Security is able to do. It's move from the laboratory, through the greenhouses and the fields, out to commercial reality. In the SALT lab, we're working on salinity tolerance, understanding how some plants can grow better than others in saline soils. Water is a massively limiting factor, yet without water, we have no plants. Fresh water is what most plants grow on, but there are some plants that can grow in salt water. If we can understand how they do that and use that knowledge to grow crops in saline water, even seawater, then that can reduce the pressure on those valuable freshwater resources. I had the idea of instead of trying to breed a salt tolerant tomato plant or a salt tolerant eggplant, if we just developed roots that were able to make a plant salt tolerant and then graft the fruit bearing top half onto those tough root stocks that help make the overall plant salt tolerant and heat tolerant. Our discoveries now are in farmers fields and they're making spectacular <laughs> increases in yield. To produce food we need about 70% of the fresh water supplies to produce the food and obviously this is a luxury that we don't have because water is a very scarce commodity in a hypo-area environment like Saudi Arabia and in the Middle East region. So really the problem that we are trying to address is how can we grow food in a very sustainable manner in a hypo-area environment without further exploitation of our water resources. We tap into an alternative water resource, which is called the wastewater generated by the different municipalities. We harvest those wastewater and bring them in decentralized modular units of water purification treatment plants so that we can purify them in a very sustainable manner. How we do so is that we utilize a technology that is called the anaerobic membrane-based bioreactor where we harvest the energy from the wastewater and use the energy to operate the entire purification process. The end product is a final product water that is retaining that of the nutrients that can be used to nourish the growth of food crops and hence providing a circular way of wastewater to clean water to production of food in a very sustainable manner. Greenhouses in Saudi Arabia and other desert regions are one of the best technologies we have to save water while producing crops. Here at the mini greenhouses at KAUST, we are testing innovative CO2 enrichment technologies that can boost yields with low emissions and therefore maximize every single drop of water, every single watt of energy used to grow crops in controlled environments. Greenhouses and controlled environment agriculture are at the intersection of a lot of different disciplines, engineering, agronomy, plant science, biology, chemistry, computer science. Growing up in Arizona and then living in Saudi Arabia, we've witnessed the boom and bust of irrigated field agriculture. We need to engineer different kinds of systems that can enable us to continue growing food in the desert and supporting a sustainable food system. Collaboration is 
absolutely essential for us to really make impacts globally and to really make those big step change discoveries. You have to collaborate and not just with other plant scientists, but with engineers, material scientists, chemists. What excites me most is how technologies are giving us an opportunity to try to address these critical global challenges. With technologies, I think we can make significant impacts in reducing that environmental footprint of our food production. CGIAR is a global organisation which has been making impacts globally, especially for poor farmers and these people for whom many of our technologies can make significant contributions. And because CGIAR is a global organisation with its remarkable international networks, it's an obvious pathway to help us deliver true impact from our research. KAUST is a science and technology university where excellence in science is fundamental. What I'm excited about now is that we're ready to not just discover, but also deliver. And that's a very good future for this university.